Hello and welcome. For this video, I am going to talk about correction due to sag. This is still a topic on correction uh, on taping as uh, we are talking about measurement of horizontal distance. Okay, so correction due to sag is created, nagkakaroon ng sag yung tape natin kapag iniingat natin, kapag suspended yung tape. Uh, this is true when the terrain is rough, kapag hindi natin pwedeng ilapat ano, or i-quadigate tape, i ground. Okay? Nagkakaroon tayo ng sag kapag iniingat natin yung tape. Okay? Tapos uh, merong siyang part na unsupported. Okay? So, the correction for sag is equal to the difference in length between the arc and its subtended cord and is always negative. You look at the figure below, itong between points A and B, itong straight line na to from A to B, this is the length required. Okay, pero uh, because uh, this length is unsupported, nagkakaroon ng sag. Okay, bimababasit. And the shape of the sag is in catenary. Okay, catenary yan. So, sabi dito, as the sag correction is a function of the weight of the tape, it will be greater for heavy tapes than light ones. Mas malaki yung, yung sag ng mas mabigat na tape. Okay, you will see later on that the correction due to sag is a function of the weight of the tape. Okay, dito sa formula natin, na I will discuss later. Okay, a tape not supported along its length will sag and form a catenary between end supports. The correction due to sag must be calculated separately for each unsupported stretch. Stretch separately and is given by CS or the correction due to sag is equal to omega squared L cube over 24p squared. Okay, so etong formula nito correction due to sag. Uh, is derived using the shape of the cable or the tape. The shape of the tape is catenary. Uh, you will learn later on in your or mechanics or statics that uh, meron tayong mga formulas for catenary. Magkakaroon tayo ng integration and all that and you will come up with this one. This formula, the correction due to sag is equal to omega squared L cube over 24p squared. Okay? So, nandyan yung mga definitions niya. Okay, itong omega, this is the weight per unit length. Okay, so itong omega at saka W, itong W is the weight of unsupported lang. Yan yung total weight of the tape. Okay, ang relationship ng weight per unit length and the total weight is omega is equal to W divided by L. Tama? So, meron tayong dalawang pwedeng gamitin ng formula for correction due to sag. Pwede natin gamitin yung omega, yan yung correction um, ni the weight of the tape per unit length so per meter the weight per foot unit uh, basta per ano siya per unit length siya whereas itong w ito yung total weight okay lahat-lahat na ng weight niya from one end to the to the other end okay p is pull during measurement or laying out this should the p uh, can be in the, uh, in unit of kilogram or can be in unit of pounds okay the weight of unsupported length, that's the weight of the tape. L is the distance between supports. Okay, we are going to illustrate the formula, itong formula, how to use this formula in correcting our uh, tape measurement in the following examples. Let us look at this problem. A 30 meter tape is supported only at it, its end and under steady pull of 8 kilograms. If the tape weighs 0 0.91 kilograms, determine the sag correction and the correct distance between the ends of the tape. So if you take a look at this one, uh, the tape is suspended at two ends. Doon lang sa end point niya. So nandito yung isang uh, ano niya. <sighs> nandito yung isang uh, end nya tapos syempre nagsag ito yan tapos nandito yung pangalawa okay I'll, uh, assuming that uh, nandito yung ground okay okay so the pull at its end uh, type pa ng guyod na ditoy that's P 
okay that's equal to eight kilograms okay so the same pool yard p okay so the the length is 30 meters okay 30 meters tape that's the length of the tape that's the distance between the two endpoints l is equal to 30 meters okay and then the tape weights eto tape weights is this omega or is this the w okay so ang sabi na the tape weights ibig sabihin the total weight of the tape kasi yung unit is kilogram kapag yung omega ang unit niya kilogram per meter you know, or kilogram per uh, unit length eto uh, this is the total weight already so that's w is equal to 0 0.91 kilograms okay so let us determine the sub correction for letter a uh, part a okay the sub correction c sub s uh, since w yung given ang formula na gagamitin natin ay ito w squared l over 24p squared okay w squared l over 24p squared. Tama? Ulitin natin. W squared L over 24p squared. Okay? So since given naman na lahat, we can solve for the correction due to sag. Okay? W is 0 0.91 kilogram. Okay? Tapos is squared. And then the length is 30 meters divided by 24 times the pool is 8 kilograms and then squared. If you take a look at the units, ito sa taas 0 0.91 kilogram squared meter. Dito sa baba, kilogram squared. So, kilogram squared will be cancelled. So, the answer will be in meters. Okay? So, 0 0.91 uh, squared times 30 meters divided by 24 times 8 kilogram squared. Okay, so the answer is 0 0.0162. 0 0.01162 meters. Okay, so if it's looking for the correct distance, uh, that's L prime. Diba? So the correct distance, therefore, L prime is equal to the nominal length, yung measured distance, measured length. Diba? So the length minus CS. Okay, remember that the correction due to sag is always negative, meaning it's always subtractive. This is always subtraction. Kapag correction due to sag yan, always subtract. So therefore, L prime is equal to 30 meters minus 0 0.0162 meters. So L prime is equal to, yeah, that's 13 minus 0 0.0162, 29.9838. Okay, so that's 29.9838 meters. This is our answer. Ito yung correction due to sag. Okay, so yan yung sagot natin for this example. So let's try this problem. A 50 meter steel tape weighs 0 0.04 kilogram per meter and is supported at its endpoints and at the 8 meter and 25 meter marks. If a pull of 6 kg is applied, determine the following A. Correction due to sag between the 0 and 8, 8 and 25, and 25 and 50 marks. And B. Correction due to sag for one tape length. And for C. Correction distance between the ends of the tape. Okay, or the corrected distance between the ends of the tape. Okay, so to answer this one let us illustrate uh, our illustration so there are actually four uh, supports of the tape uh, at the zero meter mark so this is zero meter uh, nagsag siya hanggang at the uh, eight meter mark and then 
at the 25 meter mark and finally at the uh, 50 meter mark right so in this case uh, there are three sags okay dito so we need to compute for each sag no? so tawagin natin ditong sag 1 c sub s sub 1 tawagin natin itong c sub s sub 2 and c sub s sub 3 okay so we need to identify the given uh, pare-pares naman sila ano, the, the weight the unit weight or the weight per unit length is 0.04 kilogram per meter uh, this is omega and then uh, we need to identify the given length for CS1 we have length 1 the length 1 is 8 meters length 2 is 25 minus 8 is 17 meters and for length 3 50 minus 25 is 25 meters so yan yung mga length ng bawat unsupported length of the tape okay so the pool is constant at 6 kilogram 6 kilogram based from the problem okay so yan lang naman yung mga kailangan natin to solve for the uh, sag una for letter A ang tinatanong for letter A for part A uh, yung ano yung individual correction due to sag nila so tatlo yung sagot natin dito yung CS1, CS2 and CS3 since ang given is the uh, weight uh, per unit length we are going to use this formula CS is equal to omega squared L cube over 24 P squared okay we will do that C sub S is equal to omega squared L cube over 24 P uh, 24 P squared okay gamitin natin itong formula na to for all the three uh, corrections so unahin natin si C sub S sub 1 okay so omega squared is 0 0.04 kilogram per meter squared and then L cube the unsupported lang is 8 meters then cube okay, divided by 24 and then P is the pool that's 6 kilogram uh, squared okay, if you take a look at the units for this one uh, kilogram square meter square cancel si kilogram square because my kilogram square dito sa baba per square meter tapos cubic meter so makakancel yung square meter matitiran meters so the unit of our answer for CS1 is in meters let's try to use our calculator here 0 0.04 and uh, mag fraction na ako fraction yun muna tayo sa 0 0.04 squared times 8 cube and then divided by 24 times 6 squared equals okay to four decimal places that 0 0.0009 0 0.0009 meters okay we do the same for cs2 cs2 is a parents lang 0 0.04 kilogram per square meter i mean per meter that's square and then the unsupported length is 17 meters Q and then divided by 24 times 6 kilogram squared okay so let us use our calculator to solve that's 0 0.04 squared times 17 uh, cube and then divided by 24 times 6 squared okay that's 0 0.0091 0 0.0091 meters okay uh, for the last one cs3 okay we do the same 0 0.04 squared the unsupported length is 25 
meters uh, cube o kahit wala na yung meters 25 cube divided by 24 times 6 squared okay 0.04 square times 25 cube over 24 times 6 square 0.289 0.289 meters okay so yan na yung mga sagot natin for part A Okay, for part B, ang tinatanong lang for part B, what is the total correction of the whole tape length? Okay, so, ang ano natin dito, the correction due to sag total, uh, C sub S sub capital T is equal to the sum okay, of all the corrections. So, C sub S sub 1 plus C sub S sub 2 plus C sub S sub 3. So we just need to add all the corrections. That's 0.0009 meters plus 0.0091 meters plus 0.0289 meters. In total, the total correction is 0.0009 plus 0.0091 plus 0.0289. So that's 0.0389 Okay, so yan yung total correction Okay, so for part C We are solving for the corrected uh, Length or distance between uh, The ends of the tape So basically uh, This is L prime okay? And L prime is the measured length Or the nominal length 50 meters And then we subtract the correction, 0.0389 meters. Remember, we always subtract the correction, okay? So, 50 minus uh, 0.0389 is 49.9611. 9611 meters, okay? So, that's our answer for this problem.